Entitled roommate has no idea I left. So I moved in with my co-worker. Working together about three years, she's almost 60, I'm 23, on the first of the month. I thought it was going to be calm and chill considering her age and how much of an introvert I am. Boy, was I completely wrong. I have never met anyone more entitled in my life, and I have a lot of stories I could have posted here, but this one I just had to. Just a few things that have happened less than a month of me being there. While I was at work, she sent me a message asking to borrow $100 to go out and have fun. She has borrowed money from me in the past, and she gives it back in increments of fives and tens through a period of months. I told her, I don't have $100 to just give to her, and she said, what about $80, as if that makes it more doable. I told her no, and she said, if I trusted her, I would give her my bank card so she could go take out the money she wanted from the bank and then bring my card back. No? I told her money doesn't leave my bank unless I'm taking it out, and she acted like I was only doing this so she couldn't go out and have a fun time. I lent her $12 that same morning for gas money. A few hours after asking to borrow $100, she sent me another message telling me that I need to keep the curtains open always and make sure I tidy everything up before bed every night because that's how she likes her house. I told her that no, I will not be keeping the curtains open at night because it makes me feel unsafe and also asked her if there was a reason for her to be saying I need to keep things clean. She responded back telling me it's how she likes her curtains and to remember to keep them open during the day or before I ever leave the house. She also said there was no particular reason for her saying to keep things tidy. She was just telling me, so I know. I'm not a neat freak, but by no means have I ever left a mess for anyone else to find. I told her she was being ridiculous, and then she told me it wasn't ridiculous, and it's not a big deal to just listen to what she was saying, and that I was stressing her out. That same day, I was still at work. She told me she was going out anyway. Guess the $100 wasn't really essential, huh? And if I could bring her laundry up to her room for her. Mind you that this laundry is laundry that I did the night before, and I folded all of her clothes and put them on the couch for her. She didn't work the night I did the laundry or the next day, and she let it sit on the couch. I was in the middle of a nine-hour shift in the middle of a rush when she asked that. I did not respond. It was very hard to come back after work and see it sitting on the couch and not throw it all back into the dryer. She has been gone for days now. No idea where she is. But last night, after I got out of work, she sent me a message saying that this wasn't working out, and she's going through too much in her life to have me add to the stress. Denying her money, questioning her requests, asking if I'm a house guest, or paying half the rent, stresses her out. I agreed, and told her that this is too stressful for both of us, and that I would leave before the end of the month. She freaked out. She told me that I'm not allowed to just leave and have to give her a notice and pay a fee of 81.25, the exact amount she said lol, just for the inconvenience. I never signed anything when I moved in. We didn't even have a verbal agreement. It hasn't even been a full month. I told her that her half of the cable Wi-Fi bill, I got it for us, plus the $60 she owes me from one week alone should cover that mysterious fee. The first week of me being there, she would walk in my room while I was sleeping, wake me up, and start talking about her day. Waking up to someone hovering over me is something that happened with a very bad ex numerous times. And every time she would do that, I would be terrified, and she knew I went through a situation like this. If I left anything on the bathroom counter, she would move it in a drawer and tell me that my stuff go into that drawer. I left a brush on the table downstairs before leaving for work, and I came back to find it laying on the ground outside my bedroom door. I've come back to find all my wine coolers gone numerous times, because when she runs out of beer, she will drink whatever I have in the fridge. She hasn't taken out the trash not once out of all the time I have been there. She would repeatedly ask me why we don't talk anymore. She loved to vent about herself, then tell me she feels like she's walking on eggshells around me because I don't talk to her anymore. I like to be alone, especially after working eight hour shifts days in a row, when I tried explaining how I felt to her, she would get extremely defensive and act like I was purposely trying to stress her out. She couldn't say how stressed out her life has been the past few months enough, and anything I did that she didn't want me to was just so awful to her, and I was out to get her. When I would leave the house, it's rare but it happens, she would call me at least twice and send at least two messages within a two-hour period. I felt like I was being suffocated 
And when I expressed this to her, she got really defensive and made me feel bad for saying anything at all. Not even a month. Since she's been MIA for the past three days, that this isn't working out message happened last night, I started packing immediately after she sent that. It was almost like a saving grace. I've been debating on leaving since the second week, and that sealed it for me. And continued on in the morning. It took me all day. But I did it. And she still thinks I'm going to be there until the end of the month. She's going to walk into no cable, Wi-Fi, the same movies she's had for years, and a pile of laundry on the couch. She should feel lucky I left the dish soap, laundry detergent, paper towels, dish sponge, and two rolls of toilet paper, because I've been buying all of that too. I took all the groceries I bought that I still wanted and my ice cube tray, LOL. My mom couldn't stop laughing because she was so shocked she was like this. She had no idea. And Wednesday, she's helping me set up my room again. Feels good to be home. Update. She left a voicemail telling me I was to come back today because it's my day off and grab the rest of my stuff. I left a box in the shed because it's locked and she has the key. It's VHS tapes LOL. And I will not come and go as I please. I'm not allowed there anymore. And that I left the room an absolute mess and she has to clean all day. I didn't want to hear her voice, so I sent her a message and told her I would be going Wednesday, not today, and technically still have a week left. I also told her I hope she didn't do anything to that room, because I did in fact take a full-blown video of the room before I left, that has the date. Her landlord is giving me back the security deposit on Wednesday, that's why I'm going Wednesday. She replied and said it was really wrong of me to decide to leave, and I don't have a choice. I come today, or Wednesday, that's final, so decide right now, and that I'll learn as I get older, and it's going to be so tough for me. I told her that I already said I'm going Wednesday, that I left because she said it wasn't working, and I agreed, and why would I stay if we're both so uncomfortable? I told her a lot of things she did were so wrong, but I wasn't about to spend my day off arguing with her, so have a nice day bye-bye. She says bye-bye to me whenever she sends me a condescending message lol. Then I put her on ignore again. She won't be there Wednesday, but I'll make an update about what happens when I go. Update. 2. A mutual co-worker of ours called me, we used to all work together at a different job, and told me that she has been blowing her up and calling her multiple times in a row since I left a vent about how awful and how horrible of a person, roommate, I am. The lies she is saying are outrageous, and I can't imagine all the people she must be calling and will continue to call until the wee hours of the morning. She calls people whenever she feels like it lol. And from what she said to her, I believe that she has trashed my room, good thing I have the video, to try and make it so I don't get the deposit. I sent all the screenshots of what she's been messaging me to her, some of them contradict what she told her, and she was laughing at the blatant lying she was doing. She also made it out to sound like I wasn't paying rent, and just staying there free, and it turns out whenever I didn't answer one of her messages, while I was at work, or just in general, she would call her and yell about how disrespectful and rude I was, and how done she is with me, and what nerve I have to be living in her house, and not respond or listen to her. And apparently she absolutely lost her SHD on the phone about the curtain thing when I said no, but she didn't mention asking to borrow $100 or take my bank card LOL. The real kicker is that ex-roommate owes her $40. I am not ready for work tomorrow. Update 3. Deleted Long story short, she started texting me because I wasn't answering her on Messenger, that's where she's on ignore, and she was just extremely out of line. I replied and basically told her she lives an extremely sad life, and blaming other people will not make it any less sad and recommended therapy again. I said a lot of things I feel really bad about, but everyone I have showed doesn't think I'm wrong. My boyfriend even told me that what I said to her is what restraint is. Her number is blocked right after I sent it, because I knew she would go all night into the morning. Cable's gone, no Wi-Fi, same DVDs lol, because she has nothing better to do. Hope tomorrow goes smoothly, and I can close this unfortunate chapter in my life, and carry on lol. Final update. So, I didn't update yesterday, because it was just a really long day, sorry. I ended up going to the house in the morning for my things and she was there. She skipped work to be there. I stayed in the driveway and texted the landlord and told her I wasn't comfortable being around ex-roommate alone because of what she's been texting me and because she seems the type to call the police and act like a victim. 
I waited in my car with the doors locked until the landlord came over. When we approached the house, there was a note on the door, I have things to do, be quick, and she gave me a weird look. None of my stuff was where she said it would be, so she started calling her for her, and nobody answered, so she called her cell. And it turns out, she was out on the back porch. We could hear her talking from outside to her on the phone. It was just really strange, but I didn't see her once, which I'm thankful for. My stuff was scattered throughout the house with garbage mixed in. The landlord helped me throw it away into ex-roommate's garbage. I left the cat food for her because yikes. She also tried to trash my room as expected, and the landlord didn't even ask for the proof that it wasn't me. She helped me get what I needed to and get out as fast as I could. I think she knew I was extremely nervous. When we were back outside, she gave me my full deposit and said she felt bad I went through this and that we weren't on bad terms. I thanked her for coming with me and left. The real kicker? My box of VHS tapes were not part of my things she put out, the whole reason she was freaking out. She also called that mutual coworker we had years ago and tried telling her I stole some of her things. Mutual coworker basically called her out and ex-roommate hung up on her. So glad the landlord was with me. Turns out she was also fired that same day shortly after I left. They were sick of her shit. She should have went to work. I feel extremely bad for ex-roommate and the situation she's in, but nobody put her there except for herself. And I'm finally closing this weird, uncomfortable chapter. I just went through. I'm also getting a check in the mail from the cable company for reimbursement on the deposit I put down for their service. The end.